Welcome to Kino Check News, featuring the most important information from Hollywood and more. This week, Disney is embarking on a live-action marathon. Netflix is now filming Avatar The Last Airbender after the success of One Piece, Kick-Ass is set to get a reboot, and The Gargoyles will soon be seen again as a live-action series. There is also news about the Kingsman sequel and the Halloween cinematic universe. Sounds interesting? Well then, stay tuned. Update on The Kingsman with the prequel, The King's Man, released in 2021, director Matthew Vaughn introduced us to the origins of the popular agent organization. Now a second part will follow, which will focus on Hitler's rise to power. With Kingsman, The Secret Service, director Matthew Vaughn released one of the most popular movies of the year in 2014, which not only turned out to be a worldwide success, but also marked the start of a new franchise. Then we were treated to The King's Man, a prequel starring Ralph Fiennes, which dealt with the backstory of the agent organization. Although the movie was not a great financial success, Vaughn seems to still have faith in the potential of his franchise and now announced a sequel during the New York Comic Con. In an interview with Collider, he reported that the next part will deal with the rise of Hitler, who already made an appearance in the mid credit scenes of the predecessor. The latter is played by the German actor David Cross. Vaughn wanted the movie to be a reminder of the dangers of fascism and drew parallels to the present day, saying, I look at the world at the moment, everyone getting distracted and worrying about this and that, and if you worry too much about this, bad things can happen here. While the director obviously has many creative ideas for the next chapter of his action franchise up his sleeve, it remains unclear for now whether The Traitor King will be produced as a feature film or as a TV series. So, fans of Vaughn should get their money's worth in the next few years, since after all, with Kingsman 3 and the reboot of Kick-Ass, two more projects have been announced that are already being eagerly awaited. Asses are being kicked once again. With the superhero satire Kick-Ass, director Matthew Vaughn may have completely shaken up the superhero genre in 2010. The extremely cynical film not only came with a fair amount of violence, but also helped actors Aaron Taylor Johnson and Chloe Grace Moretz achieve their breakthrough in Hollywood. Now a reboot is to follow with part 3, which could also cause another sensation. It's been 10 years since we were given a sequel to the popular predecessor in the form of Kick-Ass 2. Although the movie did not really come close to the level of the first Kick-Ass, it was still quite successful, and therefore fans wondered if and when a third part would follow. At this year's New York Comic Con, director Matthew Vaughn finally lifted the secret around Kick-Ass 3, and announced that another part will indeed follow. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Vaughn revealed that Part 3 will be a reboot and will present us with new characters. A return of Aaron Taylor Johnson, Chloe Grace Moretz, or Christopher Mintz Plass is currently not planned as the reboot is deliberately meant to go in a totally different direction. Nonetheless, it would not be out of the question to bring back the characters in a later part. Speaking to Sci-Fi, Vaughn stressed that Kick-Ass 3 would be something that had never done before in terms of movies, and that ideally they would like to start shooting in early 2024. Whether the movie will be able to convince without the popular characters Kick-Ass and Hit-Girl remains to be seen. However, Vaughn assured that we can expect some great fun that will be talked about for quite a while. We can't wait. After the success of One Piece, now comes Avatar. While the pirate series One Piece continues to enjoy great popularity, the next big live-action adaptation, Avatar The Last Airbender, is already in the pipeline. Netflix has now published a number of new images that shows us the antagonists of the series. The live-action remake of the popular anime series, Avatar The Last Airbender, is likely to be one of the biggest and most hotly anticipated projects for which the streaming service Netflix will be responsible next year. There is considerable skepticism, since the first live-action version of The Last Airbender was released in 2010 and did not enjoy a good reputation among fans. The success of One Piece should nevertheless provide for a more optimistic attitude towards the Avatar series, and the first images that showed us the main characters of the series were also very convincing. Now, the streaming giant Netflix is back with a bunch of new photos, this time featuring the antagonist, the Fire Nation. So we see actor Daniel Day Kim in the distinctive outfit of Fire Lord Ozai, Paul Sun Hyung Lee as fan favorite Uncle Iro, and Ken Leung as Commander Zhao. Princess Azula, who is played by newcomer Elizabeth Yu, is set to make a strong impression, as is actor Dallas Liu as Prince Zuko, who hunts down the Avatar. The live action version of Avatar The Last Airbender does not have an exact release date at present, but it is expected to debut in 2024. The first season will consist of eight episodes, and it can currently be assumed that the adaptation will be based on the first season of the original anime. Disney's live-action campaign is set to continue. According to first rumors, a number of further remakes are to follow, 
including Tarzan, the mega-hit Frozen, as well as The Princess and the Frog, and Tangled. The rumor that Disney apparently wants to make a number of other animated films has been circulating on the internet for several days. The target is said to be movies that continue to enjoy great popularity among fans. The Insider reports that four new live-action remakes are in the works. Remakes of Tarzan, Frozen, Tangled, and The Princess and the Frog are said to be on the company's schedule and are already in an early stage of development. Since Disney has not yet commented on the rumors, this announcement should be taken with a grain of salt. It would be feasible nonetheless, since we can expect a multitude of remakes in the next few years, all of which are based on the cartoon and animation classics. Rumors about the remake of Tangled have been going on for several months, and Florence Pugh is said to have been cast as the Disney princess. We will keep on monitoring further developments. The Gargoyles are coming back. The popular animated series, which aired from 1994 to 1997 and must have enriched the afternoons of many young people, is receiving a reboot. It will be directed by two outright horror experts. The gloomy animated series Gargoyles, which is about a group of monstrous warriors, is probably one of the most popular and special animated productions of the 90s, along with DuckTales and Darkwing Duck. As The Hollywood Reporter informs, Disney is currently planning to bring back the iconic stone monsters via a live-action reboot, for which James Wan and Gary Doberman will be in charge with their production company, Atomic Monster. Wan and Doberman are regarded as experts in their field and have already teamed up on several occasions, including the Annabelle franchise, the Conjuring prequel The Nun, as well as the recently released Megan. It remains unclear when exactly the series will come out. Currently, the project is still in a relatively early stage of development and will therefore probably take some time to complete. However, we will make sure to keep you up to date, as always. Michael Myers is coming home. After a long back and forth, the production studio Miramax was able to acquire the television rights to the Halloween franchise and is now planning an entire universe that will comprise both movies and series. Miramax will be in charge of several Halloween TV projects in the coming years. The production studio was able to win the rights in the course of negotiations and has signed a wide-ranging contract with Trankus for the development and co-production of a Halloween TV series, which is to usher in an entire cinematic universe. Mark Helwig, head of global TV at Miramax, will provide creative oversight for the franchise, working closely with Trankus International Films executives. Trankus most recently produced the Halloween feature film trilogy for Miramax and Blumhouse, directed by David Gordon Green. In an interview with Deadline, Mark Helwig expressed his excitement about the future of the franchise. We are thrilled to expand our long and successful partnership with Trankus and the brilliant Malek Akkad in introducing this iconic franchise to a new form of storytelling and a new generation of fans. Miramax and Halloween have been associated with each other for ages, as the production studio has been behind all 13 movie adaptations of the franchise. Through Hell to Paradise this is the path taken by the character Dante, played by Oscar Isaac, in the new crime thriller In the Hand of Dante, which may be released as soon as next year. In the Hand of Dante tells the story of the scholar Nick, who is hired by the Mafia to check the authenticity of the popular manuscript of Dante Alighieri's The Divine Comedy. In parallel, the story of Dante himself is also told, who flees to Sicily to begin writing his work. The movie will be produced by the great Martin Scorsese and directed by Julian Schnabel, who already impressed with his biopic at Eternity's Gate. As Deadline reports, the movie will have an impressive cast. Oscar Isaac is to assume the role of Dante. He will be joined by Jason Momoa, Gal Gadot, and action star Gerard Butler. Thanks to a provisional agreement with SAG-AFTRA, production has already begun and filming is currently taking place in Venice. So the chances are good that the film could already celebrate its premiere next year. That's it for this week's news, but should you want to know more, check out our latest original on our channel where we present the best upcoming horror movies in 2023 and 2024 to look forward to, just in time for Halloween season. And what do you guys think? Can Netflix or Disney convince with their all-new live-action projects? And are you excited to see more of Kick-Ass? Let us know in the comments. See you next week for more Hollywood news.